Hello and welcome to my channel. So today I am going to do a little photo challenge and I will explain to you why. Uh, so in the last few days I was feeling a little uninspired and I really wanted like to give myself a challenge or something to like boost up uh, that energy again and to get back into creating. Um, so I have on Pinterest this mood board, no, a board called uh, Dreamy that I just pin like so much stuff to and I thought I would do a little challenge for myself and this afternoon see how many uh, photos I can do in that sort of very dreamy category. Um, and I thought the first step I should do is I should analyze them, the photos, and see sort of the vibes and the things, the elements that they use a lot. And uh, I will then give you tips along the way and show you what I sort of come up with, hopefully come up with something. Um, and I've also uh, set myself like a challenge of doing them in three categories. So I will do one self-portrait, I'll do one more sort of lifestyle-y uh, mood photo, and then one storytelling photo. And then, you know, if I get other ideas, then those as well. I still get so embarrassed when somebody walks by when I am out shooting. Okay, but just get over yourself, get over yourself, get it done. All right. For my little photo excursion, I've chosen uh, some props. So I chose this tea kettle, then I chose an umbrella and a mirror and a little origami swan. For my outfit, um, I have gone with trusted uh, boots and then a dress. Uh, there's something in the boots and dress combination that I really like because it has that feminine fairy tale vibe of the dress but then you have the boots to sort of ground you and that it doesn't become too flimsy. So I analyzed some of these photos and I think some of the key elements that they have is usually there is nature, um, like that's like a big part of it, uh, or then they are sort of small moments of like intimacy and sort of very specific little things and like the details are very important also the colors and they often have a bit of a like bluish tone um, and sort of the source of light is usually not very bright light but it comes from like a certain direction and usually like at dawn or dusk they also have this air of maybe loneliness or solitude quite often um, and then like outfit wise mostly dresses <laughs> like the colors are quite muted and toned down um, so I have also tried to go for that in my choices today oh it's so nice to sit out here I don't at all want to now move place <laughs> but I think we should get going because it's like four o'clock so better get started Okay, I think I have found my first location. I'm gonna try to do like a self-portrait thing here, maybe with the little origami swan. I chose this location because I really like the depth it has and also that the uh, trees are sort of like framing it. So I think that will give like a very sort of dreamy vibe. Okay, I think I've changed my mind. I think I'll do the lifestyle thingy here instead. Okay, I was already starting to feel a little nervous because I wasn't really getting inspired by any of the locations I found but now I hit this like little meadow of flowers and the light is just so so perfect really when you're trying to get that dreamy vibe light is like tip number one it's so so important to get that mood um, golden hour is like every photographer should know this um, golden hour is just you know called golden for a reason so I did some uh, self-portraits here. Um, I realized like I quite often actually stand in my photos. Uh, so I tried instead to do some like seated ones, like in the flowers. Uh, and yeah, no, now I feel like if I can get a couple more shots, a uh, bit some like the lifestyle-y things, um, I think this challenge has been a major success. Okay, for my last shot, I'm gonna do the sort of storytelling one or the fairy tale one. So I'm gonna use my umbrella and I think I have found the location for that. And if I manage to do this one as well and the other two come out as good as I hope, then 
oh my god, then I've done my challenge, which is amazing because it always takes me forever to do photos. Yeah.